Three persons taken out in a drive-by shooting in Kingston. This has left the community in shock and even the police are puzzled based on this recent development. Hi again and welcome. This is Links of Love 7 TV. Let's talk. And we're about to discuss this on the program. We ask you, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell and click on all so you're always in tune whenever time I post new videos. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Links of Love 7 TV. Let's talk. The year has started and it has started on a bad note. With crime and violence becoming so rampant and the number of people lives that have been lost just in a 17 day period since the start of January is a cause for concern. And we have reported on so much incident that have took place some have not even bothered to cover because it's too much and too much crime and violence is going on. Now I have another update in relation to an incident that took place in Kingston in which three people were actually shot and none of them actually survived this daring attack. And I'm going to bring you up to date with this right now, right here on Links to Blossom TV. Let's talk. So detectives assigned to the Era 3 Major Investigation Division, MID, are probing the circumstances surrounding the shooting death of three men on Lincoln Crescent, Kingston 5, on Friday, January 15. The deceased have been identified as 34-year-old Jerome Lawson of Greenwich Park Road, 20-year-old Mark Nation of Lincoln Crescent, both of Kingston 5 and 29-year-old Anthony Barrett of Luke Lane, Kingston. According to reports from the Corporate Communications Unit within the Jamaica Constabulary Force are uh, that about 3.30 p.m. all men were standing along the roadway when they were pounced upon by armed men traveling in a Honda CRV who opened fire, hitting them multiple times. They were rushed to the hospital and despite the efforts of the medical staff at that facility, all three individuals succumbed to their injuries. The police were alerted and they are carrying out an intensive investigation in order to ascertain what is behind this latest homicide. Now this is not anything new, it's just like a day-to-day -day occurrence in our country. And these reports have become like, it's become the norm for many communities. And when we look on the fact that it's just the start of the year and the year have started off in such a negative note, with just 17 days into the new year. And we have started just as how we left 2020. It's very sad. It's very sad to see that our young people are losing their life, especially most of the time these individuals, they could become more of a value to society only if they were given that chance. These individuals age range from 34, 20 years old and 29 years old, still young individual, still in the prime of their life and their life cut short due to crime and violence. Now, I don't know where this is coming from or where this latest shooting incident is stemming from, but most of the time, situation triggers these taking out of people. And it's really sad to see that people can't find amicable ways of resolving simple problems with other people. People in this current year that we are living in believe as if crime and violence is the way to settle any issue that they are having with another person and most of the time it's either end up one behind bars one in the morgue or two 
of them in the morgue depending on what transpired before and after the actual incident. Because most of the time when these people's lives are taken, we have reprisals afterwards. And it's very sad to see how this has manifested itself in our country and it's causing real problem not only for the local authorities but the government as well is struggling to keep abreast of the situation even though the government is trying to see how best they can implement measures i believe way much need to be done in order to curtail crime and violence in our country because it's getting out of control and until the government finds some amicable way of putting in measures in place we have a real problem this is a national problem and it's a national concern right now that needs to be dealt with seriously before it escalates out of control any more than it has already done we have seen how this has escalated out of control right now and much more need to be done in order to protect the lives of innocent and law-abiding citizens whose life are being taken on a daily basis just because they are more affluent than the other person or just because of some simple domestic dispute or simple disagreement that the other party believe as if their life should not matter anymore i'm gonna leave this one here for now though thanks for watching this has been links of some tv let's talk drop it in the comment section let me know how you feel about this story much love and much respect goes out to you the viewers wherever you are watching in the world peace out and blessed